Here's how to easily fix the error code drown for Minecraft. If this video helps you, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. Now, as stupid as it might sound, the first thing you want to try, guys, is actually logging out of your Microsoft account and then logging back in with the account where you own Minecraft. And a lot of the times, that's actually the issue. You're just using the wrong account. If that quick fix doesn't do it, let's get into detail. What you want to do is come over to your desktop and press the keys Windows plus R at the same time together. That is going to open the run command. In the run command, you want to type percentage local app data percentage just like that and then go ahead and hit okay and that is going to open this folder in here now you want to scroll down until you find a folder called packages or you could just press p on your keyboard and it will usually bring you down to the packages folder now open this folder up and scroll all the way down until you find a folder called microsoft.xbox and as you see down here microsoft.xbox right here and you're looking for microsoft.xbox identity provider this one right here because there's multiple ones open this folder up head over to AC, head over to Token Broker right here. And inside Token Broker, you want to delete these files in here, these two folders, go ahead and delete it and leave the Token Broker folder empty. Now close out from that folder. And the next thing that you want to do is head over to search and you want to type in control panel, go ahead and open your control panel up right here. And then right here, you should see network and internet. And if you're not viewing that, just change the view by by category. Make sure it's by category. Don't have it on icons because it won't work. Put it on category, click on network and internet, and then head over to network and sharing center right here. And then go ahead and click where it says change adapter settings and find your internet connection. For me, it's gonna be ethernet, but some of you might have a Wi-Fi in here. Once you do, right click on it and click where it says properties. Now in here, you wanna find internet protocol version four and click on it and click on properties one more time. And before we go ahead and continue, I only recommend that you do this at your own risk and that you always do research before changing your DNS servers. But what we're gonna do in here is click where it says use the following DNS server address, and then we're going to type and then we're going to type 8888 on the top and then 8844 in the bottom, just like that. Then let's go ahead and hit OK and close everything out now. And you should be able to now play Minecraft without any problems. But if that still doesn't fix the issue for you, then let's go ahead and try one more thing. Head over to your search bar and type services, just like that. Once you see services, go ahead and open it. And then in here, you want to scroll all the way down, guys, until you find Xbox services down here and just make sure that all the Xbox services are running in your computer. They have to be enabled and they have to be running. So what you could do is double click on them and then change the startup type to automatic. So it will start when your computer turns on. And for now, what you could do is to start them yourself by pressing a start right here and just go ahead and start every single service for the Xbox down here. So just double click on the ones that are not running change them to automatic and then start them yourself. Make sure you apply it, hit OK, and then do it for all of them. And once you have all the services running, close out from the services tab. And that should actually fix your issues, guys. And you should now be able to play Minecraft without any troubles. And also sometimes a server you might be trying to play might be off for the time. So that's why I always recommend creating your own server. And if you want to do that super quick, hands off where you don't have to do anything, just click on the first link in the description and let Apex Hosting create a server for you with 25% off for those of you that use that link down there. You'll be supporting the channel and you will be having a server so you could play with your friends without having to worry about the server being down. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.